saludos a todos mis seguidores en este séptimo video vamos a ver dos misiones la misión de idealismo y pragmatismo parte 2 con el alcalde el alcalde corrupto y vamos a ver lo que es ícaro y amigos también tratar de resolver eh, a sacar a john mason de de la cárcel vamos a ver esta misión muy buena la misión de ícaro y amigos y bueno nada muchachos espero que disfruten oh, eh, subiendo contenido denle like denle like denle like y cualquier duda cualquier novedad pues uh, Mr. escriban Arthur, abajo sir. en los comentarios Education y con gusto al tiempo. un abrazo thing. muchachos gracias 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 a todos suscríbanse denle like Make nos vemos and ethics less a work of a dirty minded pragmatist like me and the calling of higher better men here here without it we are savages but with learning Why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> But the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, yeah. You certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. I'm going to talk to your passenger a moment. When I get in, you carry on.
What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? The mayor is a crook. Uh, me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. As you were. Come on! Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him. He thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. 
You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. The whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Careful! Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now these on and hop in well ain't she coming ah uh, well women can't fly sir are you insane they can't oh no sir it does terrible damage to them to their vapors i thought everyone knew about that why a delicate flower like mrs adler <laughs> heavens above or below ah. where'd you find this guy i told you you two would get on uh, are you sure about this certain sir quite certain mrs let us away. Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> OK, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Keep on going. You're doing splendidly. isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Okay, we're getting a little high now. Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. 
Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. Well, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. This was not the tour I had in mind. Suspicious, wouldn't you say? That's not him. Looks like him. Oh, it's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! This is absolutely insane. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased! Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Huh? Uh, Say, up there! Oh dear, that boiled egg feels to be... 
scrambled egg feels decidedly scrambled. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! Can't leave it for one day! Just hail these sons of bitches! Ah! trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? 
Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk. A little one. And we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <laughs>